everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally going to be filming my updated workspace craft area tour. This has been the most highly requested video I've had over the past six months to a year so I'm sorry it's taken me so long to do but this is just my desk and I'm also going to be showing you a set of drawers that are behind me right now because not even all of this is enough space to store all of the stuff for the shop and my craft stuff. So I'm going to be showing you this today. So before anyone comments in the, um, in the comment section, oh it's so tidy, I wish mine was that tidy guys use your brains it's never ever 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 this tidy like it's only ever been this tidy when I moved in when there was nothing on it so don't do that whole making yourself feel bad about your um workspace um don't shame your workspace it's never this tidy honestly um so yeah before I get started I'm just gonna say that um Obviously this is going to be a very long video so I'm going to leave timestamps in the description box for you because I know a lot of people um, refer back to these type of videos if they've seen a type of storage they like or a tool they like or whatever so I'm going to be leaving timestamps so obviously like it will say like art or you know clay drawers or grey drawers or obviously top shelf and then you can easily just like click that timestamp and be taken to it so you don't have to guess or watch the whole video again so I thought that might be helpful. I'm also going to be linking as much as I possibly can in the description of this video which is going to take me a very long time so if uh, when this is uploaded if the description isn't updated give me about an hour or so because I'm planning on having so many links in the description box because again if you guys want to find anything I want to make it easy for you guys so I'm going to be linking everything I possibly can as well. So right I am just going to stop rambling now and I am just going to get on with it. So I'm just going to start with this area of the desk. So I believe this desk is actually from Ikea. I could be wrong, but again, I will try and link it down below if I can find it. Um, so basically it's just this desk, which has these shelves, a bunch of shelves, and then this is actually separate. These drawers are separate, um, and those boxes and stuff are separate as well. But I'm just going to get started on kind of the centre section. And I'm having, to, <laughs> I'm having to stand so far back because it's such a big desk, which I love. I've never had such a big desk in my life but it's still not big enough because I just have so much stuff for the shop and for crafting and decoration and stuff, but yeah. So I'm just gonna start in this corner, which is really sad because I hate the idea that I can't see some of the artwork here because when I'm sitting here, obviously I can't see that, but I wanted to put this artwork up anyway because it just makes me really happy when I see it. If I'm ever standing over here, I love seeing these ones and obviously I can see some of the ones that are here as well. I've just moved my light over so you can see everything a little bit better but I'm going to get up close and again I'm going to try and link everyone's artwork down below but it might be a bit tricky. So this is from Cyrene, so is, oh no, so this is from Cyrene and so is that one. This is new from Comic Con and so is this one there, that's by Milk. Koei, Milkoe, I think. I can't quite remember. Um, this is from Nina. Uh, I can't remember her username now. This is just a business card from Leanne, the Crafty Ninja. This is from Winkle BB. It's one of my favourite things ever. This uh, is from Sharodactyl, and so is this one. Um, and then these are just business cards. So this is from, I think her name is Brogan Coral. I recently got that at Comic Con as well, and that's just her business card because I thought it was so beautiful. And then this little keychain is from Leanne from the Crafty Little Ninja as well. I have so much um, like clay artwork stuff that people have sent me that I just can't find either a space or a way to display. So there's just something that makes me happy. But I have so much stuff that sadly just doesn't, it just doesn't get seen, which I'm going to try and fix in the future. But yeah, so this is, like I said, from Cyrene. And then this is from my friend Bethany. I'm not quite sure what her shop is now. I think she's in the process of changing it but it's like a little octopus and it's really beautiful. And then this is from Mabel, from Mabel Story. She sent me a chibi and she does a little drawing as well. And then this is just a business card I got from a craft fair that I went to. And then here is basically like a little ledge and here I just keep some fine liners and then three pots of tools. So these are the ones that I use most. So this is usually like on my desk here. They don't usually stay there. It's just easier to have it here. So that's basically all the, my most used tools. This is, most used tools that aren't really clay, so scissors, highlighters, a bunch of, um, oh, this is like really heavy and messy, um, a bunch of pliers, wire cutters, hole punch, pens, uh, ink refills, um, yeah, just stuff like that in that one. And this is stuff that I don't really use, but still um, needs to be out on my desk. So paint brushes, this is all the stuff that I use for Perlex. Um, ruler, longer blades, extra blades, uh, rolling pin. Stuff that I use, but just doesn't get used as much. So that's why it's kind of in the corner out of the way. 
And then moving down here, I have, this is kind of, this is kind of new. I'm hoping it's going to mean that I use my washi tape more, but this is basically a container from Ikea. I have quite a few of these around my room. I absolutely love these. You can get like a grey or a mint inside, I believe, or a completely white one. I really like the grey and the mint one, so I have some somewhere else um, in my room. And then these stickers are from my shop, Kawhi Studio, so you can get those if you're interested. I think they're on sale if my, well, my shop's not open right now, but if you um, follow me on Instagram stuff, you can know when I open again. And these will be on sale. I think there's only one pound, and these are vinyl, so they're not going anywhere. But it just says planner addict on it and it's got a planner washi tape and then a sticky note and then here is just all of my washi tape which i just don't use i've been getting a lot better because i've been getting back into journaling and stuff but i just have so much washi tape which most of this stuff i'm not gonna lie has been sent to me by my friends who own stationery shops i've bought a few of them well actually no i bought quite a lot of them but also like this one was from a goodie bag from a blogger event so i get a lot of it that i don't like i didn't intend to get and so i just don't use it but um yeah and i've got sample cards and stuff but i'm getting better i also got this really cute stuff from the works recently which is like a plastic tape and it's like die cut it's really pretty but yeah i'm really hoping to get through some of this washi tape or use it on packages or something so it's kind of here to remind me to use it and then here is this little pushing planter that I got from the recent pushing box, which I'll leave that on the screen if you want to see that video. And it has two of my stamps in. These are my new stamps from Kawaii Studios. Well, I suppose they're not really new anymore, actually. But it's basically a little... It's not going to focus, is it? It's basically a little heart, um, well, envelope, like a love letter or happy mail. And it looks like this. I have two of them because they're mine. <laughs> um, well, one of them was the uh like the prototype and then this one has a bit of a black mark on it so i'm not selling it so i have two which is really good because i'm using these on my packages now when i send them out and then in the actual planter i just have my inks so i have silver oh wait do i have yeah silver gold pink blue and black in there which i really love the way this looks i'm so happy i found a space for him and then back here is just my pencil case which has all of my most used pens and stuff so a bunch of highlighters my pushing rubbers which is from the first pushing box more friction pens um yeah these are my favorite highlighters by the way it's the stibolo swing cool ones i absolutely love them and i also love the friction pastel ones i think they're really pretty and obviously everyone knows that friction pens are my favorite and i'm not going to try and do that up i'm just going to put that back there and then in this little um, jar is my tiny little Marimo. If you don't know what a Marimo is, then just Google it. This is my tiny one. I have a bigger one over the other side of my room. But this is just my tiny one that I like to have here. Keeps me company. <laughs> and then the, here is just like a little mouse that holds rings. Because if you didn't know, I'm not actually wearing a lot now. But I have a lot of rings and I wear quite a lot of rings. So my mum got me this for Christmas, I think. Last Christmas. So the one I'm crafting, I can put my rings on here and not lose them. And I think that's really sweet. So... That's the little corner there. While I'm here, I thought I'd just show you this corner as well. So these actually came in today. I got these from Typo. This, uh, they had a small sale. I think it was, was it 50% off? It was a, basically they had a sale and I just picked up some random bits. So here is a sticker book and I really love these stickers. And then I also got the stamp, which is really cool. And it has a bunch of different designs on the back, which I just thought was really awesome. I think it was super cheap, so I couldn't, couldn't resist. So they're not usually there. I just need to find a place for them. I haven't found a place for them yet. But here, I absolutely love this container. I got this container from Aldi, which is a food shop. Well, kind of food shop. And um, I haven't seen one since, but it's obviously meant for food. But it's basically got like four tiers to it. And you can take the top off. And obviously, you can take all of the different ones off, um, which I absolutely love. And it just means that I can separate everything out. So if I just open the top for you, the top is kind of used for stuff that needs doing or it needs glazing or it's part of a tutorial or it just needs like I need to do something with it. It's here to remind me to do something or obviously these necklaces from my last tutorial. These are here to remind me that obviously they need to go in a charm update. Same with like some of these cupcakes and stuff and these stars just like they just need something doing to them basically. And then when you go further down there's just random bits. The last section is all of the wings so far that I've made for the shop which yes is the most satisfying thing ever so I can't actually remember how many there is in here but it is rather satisfying so that is the obviously what I'm using that for so it's just really nice 
to separate everything up so I know where it's going, it needs something doing to it or you know it's ready for a charm update or something like that and it's quite compact as well um, and I think you can actually add more to the bottom as well if I was to find another one but sadly this I got this a while ago so I don't think I'm going to be able to find one in my Aldi but you can always try or you can look online obviously I'm not sure what it would be called but I will try and find something online that's kind of similar to it and then here is just where I just kind of keep the stuff that I'm working on these are just two cookies that I made for um, that tutorial for the necklace that you saw if you've seen that tutorial you know I just sort of did some example ones so they're just sitting here on a piece of baking paper ready to be baked um, or well I don't bake two things like this I think that's kind of a waste so I wait till I have more stuff and then I bake it so that's just where that sits sorry about the lighting throughout this video the weather today is awful so I'm trying to use my light but it's only, only big enough to light certain sections of my desk so I hope you don't mind that but now I'm going to go over this middle part so here is what I call my nerd shrine so I made this well I made this recently I basically redid my whole desk recently so this is new so basically this is just all the nerdy stuff that I own that I wanted to show so like I said this print is from Cyrene this I don't know like who this is by it's a stormtrooper mask it's kind of hard to see um but I got that at comic-con as well but this past weekend um I'll try and remember where I got that if they left a business if I have a business card or anything but as for the stuff on the shelf, so first is a little um, pop vinyl Funko Pop of BB-8 and this one actually is meant to be a bubble, a bubble top, a bubble top, bubble top, a bubble head basically. Um, so there's meant to be a spring attached but when I got mine out it was um, wonky so like the head was like this and I was just like OCD kicked in and I was like that is not happening, I can't have that. So I basically took the spring off and actually I love it because his head actually like, if I, I could like take photos of him looking down at things, up at things and actually it stays and actually it looks really cool so I'm so happy I actually did that. And then here, I'm not sure what company this is, my housemate Adam got me this from America, it's a little RCD2. Then you've got the first ever Pusheen vinyl and then on the other side you've got the next one which is him, her. Um, needing dough because it was kind of like a cooking series and then two uh three of my simpsons i have a large um stormtrooper one on my bed but these ones are just the ones that i display so you've got armored uh baymax normal baymax then you've got um iron man so you can see i love i love a man in red armor <laughs> and then you here you have my sonic screwdriver so this is the 10th Doctor Sonic screwdriver and they all make noises and stuff. This one's also a pen when you take this cap off. And then Adam again, my housemate, got me this one which is so cool. So you can obviously, oh, you can obviously close it like this and then when you press this button it pops out. And then this one is so cool because you just touch it and it makes a noise, like it's touch sensitive. <gasps> when he gave me this, I mean I'm a, like a grown adult. I was 20 when he gave me this for Christmas but I freaked out. I think it's just the coolest thing. So I have that up there open because I think it looks really cool. And then here, um, which if you guys have seen any of my past room tours or craft area tours, you know this this comes with me everywhere and it's always on my desk. And it is this cute little Mulan cupcake um, from Rag Princess Sews. So I absolutely love this. I always have, and it was just one of the thing, one of the first things I got in my peer box that just like inspired me. I just I just think it's so cool. Like baffles me so how anyone could make something so gorgeous. So I like having him her here <laughs> so yeah that's what that looks like and the, that's the only thing obviously someone else has made me that's on here I am thinking about dotting some creations here and there but I'm just worried about dust and stuff I'd rather have a case that has a lid for all the handmade things um, but as I said this is a print from Comic-Con already and then this is a print um, from Nikki and I can always forget your um, username but it's her kind of like jellyfish OC so I really like that and then on the other side I have uh, another piece from Cyrene which is just a girl and they're just really cute hanging there and this is it's not by Bethany but it's from Bethany again um, and I just love it because it just reminds me of what you guys say when you see people being rude to me so I just like having that there because that kind of reminds me of you guys in an odd way but um, yeah so that is the top shelf and again that's my little nerd shrine so this next shelf is basically packaging for Kawaii Studios, so I just have a roll of sellotape on this side and then here is bags and stickers, so this is what your orders come in, so I pre-package them so there's a business card in each bag and then I either seal them with a white dot or a little thank you heart um, and I need to get more of those done, so that's why those are there, so they're just like plastic um, paper bags, sorry. And then in this one, uh, it's just a bunch of random stuff, so labels, because I hand write all of my labels, um, small, uh, what are they called, cellophane bags, you've got royal, mail, 
airmail stamps, custom stamps, scotch tape, more cellophane bags, business cards, my return address stamp and then a ink pad. And then here is all of my business cards and my jewellery backing cards. So always people ask me about this stuff, um, but my jewellery backing cards are just business cards that I get printed and punched. So that's obviously the vertical one. And I have horizontal ones for my um, wing necklaces. And then also there's a huge box of business cards there as well. So that's just that one. This is really handy. I love like the height of this is just perfect it's really easy to reach and stuff and it's just obviously the right height I, I really do love this desk and then here let me just get on my knees because I'm getting tired so this is awesome I can't remember when I got this I think it was a year ago or so maybe a couple of years ago but I absolutely love this and I just think it's so awesome so this is by Draper um, I wish it was a nicer color but actually my room here at uni is all blue and then everything on my desk is either like gray or it's blue or it's like a light blue color so actually everything matches quite well I just I wish all this stuff came in prettier colors that's all but this is basically where I store most of my clay and and a lot of my clay tools that I use a lot of the time. On top I just have some of these boxes which you can see I keep, um, I use to keep the dust off my pieces that haven't been baked and these are just like, um, I forget what they're called but they're meant for like cardstock and card and stuff and obviously there's one with a lid on it and it just looks like this. This is obviously the other half of that one but um, yeah so I also have some baby wipes, my chalk pastels and then some, there's a cotton pad and then cotton buds as well which is always handy and then here it basically it well it used to have an order not so much anymore but it goes like um ecru brown black white and then it starts to get a bit uh, these should all be the pastel colors um and then it goes absolutely haywire down here and, and then the only one that is kind of organized are the bottom ones which are effects so you've got like gray granite uh gold and then pearl and stuff but after like the top row and even then the top row isn't particularly organized but I know where everything is and that's all that matters basically <laughs> but um, in the bigger ones I just have open clay that doesn't quite fit because these drawers are amazing but they don't fit whole Fimo clay they fit whole Sculpey because Sculpey are obviously thinner but they don't fit whole um, Fimo blocks so until they fit I kind of keep them in here so there's just obviously random clay and then um, kind of the same on the other side and just big molds that don't fit anywhere and again, just random clay. These are all the, I can't remember what collection this was, but these are all like the, um, they have released a bunch of new colors like a year or so ago. Um, so they're all in here. I don't really use them sadly. I need to get back into it. And then the bottom two on both sides are molds. I have a lot of molds as you can see. Molds and random bits of scrap clay and stuff. Um, yeah, so I have a lot of molds as you can see here. Um, lots and lots and lots of molds. So I need those big, uh, big drawer so I absolutely love this I recommend this to anyone I really do love the way this has been laid out and it's probably the the best way that I've found so far um, to store clay and if they're still on my channel you can see all the other ways that I've tried to store clay so if there's any past um, how I store my clay videos still up on my channel you can check those out but this is definitely the best way that I have found so far to organize it so again I will leave a link to these down below because you can get smaller ones you can get ones that are like half the size like double the height I believe so yeah that's really awesome and I, I really love this so next is this section and this is my bed um if you guys want um a room tour I might do it I'm not really sure there's not really much to show you guys minus this but if you guys want to see it then I might um because I did it for my first um university room so you know might as well but yeah so these are these drawers have been with me forever um I think I got these first year of uni and they've been in a lot of my craft um areas so yeah um these are just from asda i believe you can get these in pink which i really am tempted to get but as as i mentioned everything on my desk is either blue or gray or you know silver so i think maybe not but you can get them in really cute colors like gold and pink and maybe like a minty blue color and then this desk is really awesome because it comes with built-in um, I'm not really sure what you call these things but like paper storage, letter storage and also up the top here there is bits on the top um, all along here that you can take out these metal rods and um, use which I really love so just here is my ice blue I think it is Kiki K which is just my business planner yeah so it's just filled with 
um, personalised inserts for orders and stuff. But um, yeah, that sits up there. And then that below that is a very old key keycap. Well, it's very old now. It's about three years old. Um, I can't remember what this one is called. I think it's just the dark grey or the grey. But this holds all of my old business stuff. So here I have, um, like, uh, these are... Oh, these are, I, ha I keep like one of every charm for Quiet Studios for samples and stuff just to see what I've done, see how colours come out, all that stuff. And I've also got some stickers back here, which were like the first ones that I got sent. Um, and they were, I believe these ones are draft ones, or they just I just kept a bunch of them so that I could have them for myself. But that's kind of what's in here. I think it's very difficult with one hand. Then it's kind of the same setup, but obviously for... Um, then in here it's kind of the same setup. It's obviously just for business and um, expenses and all that crud. This doesn't really need to be out and it's just always covered in stuff um, and it's kind of destroyed, but um, I love this planner. My ex-boyfriend got it for me. It was like the first thing he ever bought me as a present. So I really like this and um, yeah, I don't know. It's been with me for the last three years, so I really like that. Um, but yeah, so this is um, just uh, information on my current accommodation, so bills, um, passwords, things that I need to keep, so that's always here because you never know. And then on top of here I have dusters and then also a different type of duster, which is obviously always important because dust is everywhere. This is kind of an awkward place to put these, but I have my deco gel, my translucent liquid Sculpey, some nail varnish remover and this little pot that you fill with water and you can clean and rest your paintbrushes on it when I'm glazing and stuff so it's kind of an odd place to put it and it was really awkward before because I actually had something in the one down from here like I had stuff in here so it was always really cramped but now that I've sorted that all out it's a bit more room so it doesn't look so weird and then these drawers are kind of organized but also really not so I'll start on the left here is all my uh oh let me take it out oh so heavy clay is so heavy so here is all of my um spare clay or clay that i haven't used i have never used this color which i'm hoping to so basically it's just all the colors that i need a backup of so obviously you can see you've got um vanillas browns mints pink all the quartz colors pearl obviously because i use a lot of pearl and then new uh, pluffy clay that i'm going to be trying out soon um also a yellow which um i don't use yellow a lot but i needed one um and then here is my glaze here's a small empty bottle well just about empty and i use the craft mill oh polyurethane glaze and i kind of upgraded to like the mummy there's also a huge one that you can get but after going through like six of these i was like why not get the bigger one so yeah, this is the 100ml and I love this stuff, I've used it forever, you guys know that if you've been following me. Uh, here is just a spare tile and then some scrap clay, um, some blue tack, and then here is the Fimo gloss varnish, which I don't really like, but it's always good to have, so, oh, I can't even hold that. It's always good to have, so I keep it in there. Oh, that was so heavy, you forget how heavy clay is sometimes. Next is kind of an odd one, so blue tack extra baking sheet um, this is the clay roller from the pocket kitchen um, and then these are the soft pastels you get in the pocket kitchen and here are all the spaces for this uh, Vaseline extra sandpaper and then random blades so it's kind of an odd it's kind of an odd drawer but um, it does the job there's no way to really organize a drawer like this like it just looks messy no matter what you do to it same with the next drawer, which is again random stuff. So random paintbrushes, toothpick, um, what's this called? Hole punch, here is a hand cream, and it comes with a little bit of a PR stuff because I got sent that. Nail files, random jump rings, more random um, moulds and some random forks. Don't ask guys, honestly. This is really random and I would try and tidy it, but there's just like, it's stuff that I want out, but just don't know what to do with it and then here is kind of a random drawer as well it's basically just like um empty storage and stuff and i also have my um Swarovski crystals in here that i'm hoping to do something with at some point because they're beautiful but they just don't really have a home and then here's like a extra little drawer that has spare plastic pots in it which sounds silly having them out because really I don't use them but this drawer is just it fits really well so I like having it here plus you never know when you're going to need a container 
And then here is all of my like icing and stuff. People always ask me where I get these containers. And sadly, I've tried to find them online, but I can't. I get them from um, where I used to work, which is kind of like a craft store, bookstore, stationery store kind of thing. And um, my managers used to get hordes of them in. So obviously I got, oh, as I drop it, I got loads of them. And obviously they're just full of the icing that I use. And they're just brilliant because they're airtight. They're obviously meant for paint and stuff. So they're really awesome and I'm really sad I can't find them online for you guys. I did spend like a good couple of hours one time trying to find them um, but I just couldn't find them online um, but yeah they're in there and then the next one is my Perlex powders and pigments so again they're in these containers which again I'm sorry because I love them so much and I want to talk about them and just praise them but obviously you guys can't get them which is sad um, and then this one is got well actually it doesn't have a lot I need to shave some more but this is all the chalk pastels that I shave and I keep and then there's the one pearlex powder that I actually have in the pot um because the rest of them were sent to me the rest of them were all samples which shows you how long um they last although they are quite big samples but yeah and then the drawer underneath is kind of like decoration so I've got some rhinestones some cabochons canes these are canes that I have started to slice. These are whole canes that I haven't been bothered to slice. Uh, a cane wheel that a subscriber sent to me. Um, micro marbles galore back here. So all of the colours of the rainbow down here. These are the ones that I love the most. So silver and that pink I just love. And then here are just like handmade um, sprinkles, cabochons, canes, that kind of thing. This needs to be a bit updated. Um, I hope I think I'm going to do a updated uh, how to make clay sprinkles and toppings and add some more stuff to it so if you guys want to see that let me know in the comments down below but um, I need to make some more of those but it's rather tedious so I'm not going to do that anytime soon and then the last drawer again is an ugly drawer it's just full of just random tech stuff so actually I have a clay roller back here which is a bead roller from Fimo and then drill bits glue my old camera like memory sticks card readers hard drive and mouse like this drawer is really random and it also keeps like my um what's it called memory cards in when i'm not using them but uh yeah that's that's those drawers so now for the top this is actually really hard i'm out of breath but as i was saying they come with loads of these metal um divider things so i have one here there's one here and there's also one on this side but you can put um loads of different um uh, ones up here and different site like different spacings and stuff but I only have three up there right now but they have them all along I believe um, so yeah this is just a random mismatch of stuff so on this side it's all my tech tech stuff so here is just a um, this is like a laptop um, I don't know what you call this like a laptop stand so it's at a certain angle when you want to work on it this is from Ikea this is my laptop case which I don't actually think is a laptop case it was kind of marketed uh, as a clutch but I absolutely love it and it works perfectly as a laptop case because it's got this extra width on the side and this is from New Look. I don't think it's still on the website but I absolutely love this thing so if it is I will try and find it for you guys. Then in the back I have my, um, this is an uh, iPhone tripod and then this is my blue microphone, it's the Snowball and this is my vlogging camera um, which is the Sony A, what is it, A, I always forget what it is. AX5100, that's what it is. Uh, I love this thing, I think it's such a beautiful camera. Then moving on from there, I have my iPad in its case. I have my journal, if you didn't know, I keep a journal and this is the one I got from the um, Typo event and I just added this little um, tassel that my friend Daisy sent to me, which I think is really cute and that's what I've been using as my journal. Um, and then this is a Filofax Flex, which I love. I don't use it. I used to use it for some uni, which was again really easy and I loved the way it worked. And then here is a weekly planner that I sometimes use when I get really busy. Up here is a bunch of um, cardstock uh, paper with different designs on. I use these to photograph things on and also as backgrounds for my videos. And then I got a new one that's from the works recently, which is really pretty. So that's up there too. And then this box is actually what that Kiki K came in which is that grey one is this box which I really really miss them having boxes my blue one didn't come in like a proper decent box um, and this has all of my smaller ones so I've just got loads of pattern paper which I just don't need um, but they're so it's, you know, it's very nice to have and the pattern is just beautiful on all of them so I have these and again I do use them for photographing stuff on and then I have 
some cards and some more cardstock and stuff in the bottom there. Again, I really need to start using this stuff more. And like I said, I have tried to put my washi there so that I use it. And now that everything's a little bit more organised, hopefully I get more crafty, especially with all of my um, paper craft stuff. Next, I have these magazine holders, which are basically just holding my stickers and my paper stuff. So we'll go over what was inside all of this stuff, but it's going to make the video way too long and it's already too long. But it's basically just like this one holds like, like planner stickers and all my fun stickers and stuff from all my friends. And then there's some stamps and rubber stamps and sticker flakes. And then like I said, this is paper. So like memo pads and more stamps and just like random memo pads and notes and page flags. Oh, and I forgot to mention this mat is, isn't the Sculpey Work and Bake mat, but it is one of those like silicone heat resistant ones. And I'll try to leave a link to the one that I have right here. My mum got it for me, but if not, the Sculpey Work and Bake one is exactly the same. So the next thing up here is just a random um, pen case. Um, it's so pretty. This one's from Asda. It's just a grey polka dot with Minute Me inside. And I haven't used this yet, but it's kind of out just in case I need it. And then this is also on that top shelf and it just holds a bunch of um, finding stuff that I either don't use or I haven't started to use or they just don't have room for in here, which I'm going to get to obviously in a second. Um, so bigger chain, black chain, um, just like thicker stuff that I just don't have a place for or I haven't started to use yet. And then the last thing on this top shelf are just two, the two pushing box we've been sent. So there's a cute little happy one and then a smiling one. And this just has a bunch of um, old tools that I don't use. And this one has like old journals, old planners, stuff like that that just needed to be kept out of the way. And I really love obviously that I can use these as storage boxes. So that is all of the top of the desk. And now I'm going to show you underneath and also this drawer here. So let me just get down here. So on top of here is actually my tablet. It's kind of hard to see. This is my Wacom, uh, Wacom, Wacom, um, bamboo tablet. I, I love this thing dearly. Um, and I just, it just sort of sits there because it's kind of perfect. I wish it was out somewhere. Should really be on the top there where I keep the uh, technology, but just doesn't fit. So here, this drawer, ladies and gentlemen, is my life. Um, every time I open this drawer, it makes me so happy. I recently did that. Well, I say recently. Um, I recently um, found these acrylic containers in TK Maxx. They have so much acrylic stuff in my TK Maxx. It's amazing. And I haven't been able to find any since, which is annoying because I wanted to do it to this drawer as well. But these are my findings. Oh, can we just... This is findings that I haven't got gone around to using. Um, but guys, like, can we just take a second and just oh so these are two separate um drawers and they're just um divided up these this one and this one are actually drawers um from acrylic drawers i had before that are just sort of helping to divide everything up again but these are all of my most used findings so you've got eye pins head pins eye screws jump rings in all different sizes lobster clasps in all different sizes different types of chains then you've got the um, ball chains and then their clasps and then you've got ready-made ones and then also the necklaces back here i have the huge roll of chain that i use and then there's just some random bits that weren't that couldn't really fit in that are important um but yeah and again these are sort of like um the drawers from a different um, set of drawers but I just took them out and kept the like the actual drawer bit somewhere else so yeah I love this so much I'm getting out of breath just talking about it it's, it's and it's so easy because obviously I sit here and I can literally just open the drawer and just pick out what I want it's so much easier i'm so happy about this and again i did want to do it to the next drawer um because the next drawer holds all of my kind of like products yeah, so these are all just the acrylic bits bits and bobs all the charms so there's some um extra ones and then here it says silver acrylic on it which again obviously the shop isn't very well stocked or made and stuff so usually this is full of pre-made ones um, and then this one says gold which again obviously would be filled with gold ones here is an acrylic box that is well it's broken um, and here are just some things that I'm going to be uh, bringing to the shop soon um, which are little tassels um, and then there's pom-poms and stuff which I was experimenting with um, if you if you follow me on uh, Instagram on the XX actually no one quite shoes as well you would have seen me experimenting with these um, here's some more extra ones and then here are some extra stamps that didn't sell for the pre-order and it's just some random bits I, this drawer just drives me nuts it could look so organized if i had two more of those um drawers but sadly i don't so this is just 
what I have to put up with. I mean, it's not awful, obviously, but it would just be so much nicer if I could get a few more of those drawers. But at this point, it's just a bit silly to uh, like go out and order them because I'm not going to be living here for that much longer. Um, well, till September, so I suppose it's a long time, but it just seems silly. Plus, obviously, Teak Max, they'll be, they were like half the price they were meant to be, so I might try and find some, but we'll see. And then that side here, I have two large um, envelopes because this is the drawer that I keep my envelopes that are sort of like ready to hand. So again, this is just perfect because I'm right-handed and it's on the right. I'll just be sitting here and I can just open the drawer and pop out whatever I need. So these are the um, bo bigger boxes and then there, here are these boxes. So these are already stamped with my little stamp and then all the hearts are a different color and they're also stamped with um, my return address on the back. You can't really see it, there you go. Um, so these are pre-stamped and stuff ready. I know a lot of people tend to, well I know some friends that make them as they go but that drives me nuts. So I actually make a bunch of them. And then here back here again, these are stamped envelopes, more envelopes. Um, these are, um, envelopes for my stickers which are here which aren't really meant to be here but I can't think of a better place to put them or find a better place to put them at the, at the moment and these have just been all packaged with business cards at the back and then here are pom-poms which again can't find a better place for them because like I said this desk is huge but it's still not enough room but yeah that's what's in here and it's really handy and again I love I just love this set of drawers it's it without them this I wouldn't be able to function <laughs> so I'm really happy that they are here so again sorry the lighting's so odd I'm trying to get my light in here so it's really mini right now um so this is underneath my desk so here is my tripod and obviously my camera is usually sitting on top of it so obviously it sits under there which is really great I love that it can sit under there kind of like made made up so I don't have to um lug it out or anything because it's quite a hefty tripod and then under here this is where I keep pre-made necklaces. Obviously right now it's not very full because Kawhi Studios is not open, but you can kind of see here, this is where I keep um, necklaces and stuff. So obviously these are pink wing necklaces. So this fits them perfectly. I absolutely love this thing so much. Again, it's another one of those things, just like the drawers over here that I just couldn't live without. It's so handy and so portable. And I got it for a show that I did. Um, I did do a haul. So if you're, if you're interested to see what I um, bought in terms of like portable storage, then I'll leave that on the screen right now. But there are just some wing necklaces in the bottom here and also some acrylic necklaces. Um, and also some waffles. Again, this would be full if I was obviously running choir studios, but I'm um, not right now. And then here, which is kind of awkwardly just sitting here, is a bunch of miscellaneous findings, which are kind of the findings that I whip out if I want to do something experimental with a tutorial or anything like that. So there's just a bunch of... Oh, oh come on. Oh. Oh, there we go. Right, so there's like magnet strips and earring backs, earring hooks, um, there's dust plugs, phone charms, like keychains, glass bottles and more colours of um, ball chains, there's like parfait cups and stuff. There's just a bunch of stuff I've collected over the years from people sending stuff to me and then also obviously collecting it. So I've also got like badge badge backs and ring bases and stuff so this is the kind of thing that I want to get out more and try try and be a bit more experimental so yeah but it's kind of just sitting here awkwardly because I don't really know where to put it but yeah that's that and then these boxes are amazing I absolutely love these boxes um these are from the works and these boxes actually are foldable so they like pop open and pop out and they do a bunch of different designs but these are just the ones I got so I got the glittery ones this one's really dirty but I got the glittery ones and then there's also like a dark um gunmetal one and these basically hold um shop supplies so here is just a lot a lot of envelopes uh, which again will all be pre-stamped because I'm not messing around with that and then the next one is more boxes like I said so these are all stamped and ready to go this one has a little blue heart on it not all of these have this stamp I've only started doing that recently so like the top layer will have them and again they'll all be stamped with my um address on the back side and again I know a lot of people prefer just to make them up as they go along for orders but it drives me nuts and I kind of do have the room because of the way this bot, um, this desk is designed. I could have obviously two of these stacked on top of each other um, if I wanted to and it's not too much of a bother, it's not like really in the way so I just prefer to have them all made and stamped and stuff. Um, so yeah there's that one and then the gunmetal one is kind of like an odd mix of 
everything. So in this gunmetal one, again, they're so shiny. And this glitter doesn't go anywhere, by the way. But they have a bunch of different designs. And uh, there's a really cool tube map one as well. So here's just random bits. So boxes full of random tissue paper. I mean tissue paper. Bubble wrap that you never know when you're going to need. More of these um, hardback, don't bend um, envelopes more of the bags that I used to package my stuff and then again just sort of random bubble mailers that are just there just in case I need them. So this is what is under my desk. So I also have this stack of drawers right by my door and my um, uh, desk is directly behind me and it also has some stuff in it that I thought you might want to see. And then this top drawer is sorry that was my phone, is basically, I'm not really sure what to call this, but this is basically like a bunch of stuff people have sent me that I haven't been able to find places for yet. So this is from Amy, from Little Surprises, uh, May, um, Mabel, and then most of these white boxes it, are from Leanne, and then this one has got some stuff from Bling It Laura and Marshmelly. Um, yeah, there's just like a bunch of stuff that sadly, like I just... Oh, and that's from Caroline. I just can't find a place for it at the moment. Um, there is a huge box as well right next to me full of birthday presents that recently got sent to me, which if um, I'm hopefully going to upload that video mm, by the end of this week, which is basically just a huge like unboxing video of a bunch of stuff. So there is a bunch of stuff missing, uh, you guys, from that group. Um, don't see your stuff here. I do have it. Don't worry. And then I also keep my phone cases at the back here. So I have like plain blue one. This one's from Bling It Laura, which uh, there's a package and review coming at some point for this, I promise. This one is from Casetify. I have another one somewhere. Um, can't remember the shop name for this. I think they changed recently, but here's a cute ghost one. Uh, this is my ex-boyfriend got me, which is just so me. Um, I can't remember what YouTuber this is. Um, and then here, again, I can't remember the name of the shop, but this one is so cute. And then... Again, my ex-boyfriend got me this one, which I love as well, which is Baymax knocking on the TARDIS. And then just the floral one. And I just keep these here because I tend to switch out my phone covers quite a lot. Um, I have one from Leanne on there um, currently, so I just like having them here. And then here, no one replied to me for that giveaway that I did. So I've got this ready to give away at some point. And then also the, here's a bunch of stationery stuff um, that I recently kind of sorted through. And there's a bunch of stuff that I want to give away, so that's there. And then this I also got from... Amy and then there's just a bunch of um kind of like proofs of sticker sheets and um there's also a bunch of prints down here in this one um a lot of them are from Cyrene which obviously I just can't put up because I put up as many as I possibly can um and these drawers are really awful and next one oh gosh oh come on next one is like packaging and stuff so I have extra uh, like cups this box I used for um I use it for product photography and then you've got tissue paper and polystyrene and bubble wrap and then here I have a bunch of those um cellophane bags that I use um these pretty organza bags these pillow boxes and then just a bunch of like pretty bags underneath so like secure ones and fancy ones and yeah they're really pretty down there so I'll just keep those in there and again I would love to just have this stuff oh this is so awful um together but sadly I can't and then here is um more business stuff so labels um this is my card reader thing for my bank my paypal card reader um more customs forms um then there's filler tape extra seller tape and extra magic tape and then more extra business cards and backing cards in here and then here is just old products uh, that need selling and they're in little packages because I sold them as like grade B old stuff and I didn't sell all of them so they're just here I don't really know what I'm going to do with them I might give them away at some point I don't know but yeah they're just there because I have nowhere else to put them and then that is all because in here the rest of it is like electronics and then hair stuff so like a hair dryer stuff which obviously isn't shop related so I'm not going to show you that so that is my complete area tour including the little drawers that are behind me as well so I really hope you've enjoyed this video I know it's been a very long one but I love these videos so do let me know if you watched the end and you liked this video because these are one of my favorite videos to watch so I'm really happy you guys one wanted to see it and two I hope it's as as awesome as you um hoped it was so yeah before you ask questions as I was saying earlier please look in the description box because I will try and keep uh or try and put as much information as I possibly can about everything on here um obviously 
where to get it, where to find it, and all information if I can't find it, and where I purchased it, and all that stuff. So if you do have a question that I didn't answer in this video, or I forgot to mention where I got something, then do let me know in the um, comments down below, and I will happily answer your questions. And yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see my last video, you can see it on the screen right now. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!